In today's show, we have a story on bank, a stand-up on Washburn money, and a story on foreign exchange My name is Medea. Every year we have students. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. I'm Haley. And I'm Killian, and you're watching SVTV. The Seaman High School Bank is the first bank in high school history to open in America. The bank has been in existence since 1927 when the founder of our school district, Fred Seaman, created it. Bank members are trying to increase the number of students who have an account created. Um, students make a bank account because we protect your money and we have better interest than your regular bank does. We, we offer more. And you can get into it anytime you need to pay for club dues and if you want to buy some snacks at lunch, you can dip right into it. Seaman High School students should join the bank because they have great benefits. And the interest that we give on savings accounts is 1% annually, which if you check with your particular bank, it, we probably beat that. The bank is trying to spread the news of their higher interest rates compared to other banks. By word of mouth, we tell people like you need to make an account because we have better interest. Well, that's up to the student leaders of the bank to create an environment to uh, encourage students to use the bank. The process of making an account is simple and user-friendly. First, you need to make a down payment or deposit, and then you go into the bank and you say, hey, I'm here to make a new account, and it'll be your last name, first name, and you just have to have just a little bit of money to put into it in the beginning. The bank's not a scary place. None of us bite in here. We're all welcome and we'll help you make a new account. If you're interested, go to the bank during lunch and create an account. $10 is the minimum to make an account. If you're interested, make sure you go to the bank during lunch. Now for your announcement. Seniors, the 100 year picture is this Thursday during CALP on the football field. If you want to join Interact, $5 is due this Friday. The first meeting is October 3rd at 7.30 a.m. in the library. The SHS Thirst Project will be holding a Walk for Water Night on Saturday, October 12th at 4.30 p.m. There will be games and a water relay race. To register, talk to Mr. Cromie. Last day to apply for the Seaman High School Half Day Job Shadow. Today is also the last day to pay for your washroom dues. Allie went and talked to Mr. Alexander for more information. Hey Vikes, I'm here with Alex who has an announcement for all students enrolled in washroom classes. So what is it? Uh, anybody that's enrolled in a Washburn class, I just wonder, the reminder is that either your whole fee for your Washburn class is due today um, by midnight, because today's the last day, or you have to set up a payment plan by today, which you can, you can spread it out over three payments for the semester, but it all has to be done by today. So if you haven't done that, you need to get on it, and if you need some help, come see me. How do you set up that payment plan? Well, once you have your My Washburn account, you go into your My Washburn account, and then you have to go to Financial Services. You hit Woo View twice on two different screens, and then it'll bring up the amount that you owe, and there's just a button at the bottom that says Set Up Payment Plan. So it's pretty easy. They do charge you an additional $20 to set up the payment plan, but, you know, it might be to your advantage. Awesome. Make sure and get those prices paid off. Now back to your anchors. If you haven't paid your dues yet, make sure you go see Mr. Alexander in the Counselor's Cove. Now we're to Sports with Killian to find out more about the shirts the soccer boys are wearing. Tonight, soccer is hosting a cancer awareness game versus Hayden. Come support your team. The first 40 stu Siemens students with their student ID get a free cancer awareness t-shirt. Now over to Haley to see if there's any more rainy days ahead. Here is your weather forecast. Currently it is 79 and sunny and the rest of the day it will be high 70s going to partly cloudy tonight. For the next three days as we have assumed it will be rainy. Thursday it will be partly cloudy. Now back to your anchors. 
You may have seen some foreign exchange students around the halls. Let's go find out why they're here. I'm Noemi. Uh, Leonie. My name is Oliver. My name is Medea. Every year we have students join us at Seaman High School to see what life is like around America. The exchange program that we have, basically there's a lot of different organizations that bring exchange students to the, U to the U.S. And in our area we have a lot of local coordinators for the various organizations. And then when people decide they want to host an exchange student, they can reach out to those organizations and kind of try to pick a student that is a good fit for their family. We went around to learn more about our new foreign exchange students. I'm from the northern part of Switzerland, so close to Germany. I am enjoying my time here and, uh, I don't know, meeting new people and everything's different in so the school and the relationship teachers have with their students, it's way more personal. I'm from Spain. I'm from a village near Madrid. I'm enjoying my time in America and probably the high school. In Spain, I don't have like many activities and sports to do, so yeah. I am from Sweden in the center. I'm enjoying my time and the thing I enjoy the most is probably the culture difference. I'm from Italy. Near Milan, like close to the border with Switzerland. Yes, I'm enjoying my time in America and I'm okay, loving school. So. Probably that there are no public transport here. While spending their time in America, they have been trying new types of things, such as food. Okay, my favorite food from home is Alpler Macrona. It's Swiss German. <laughs> it's, I don't know, it's noodles and meat and potatoes. Yeah. <laughs> and then here, um, there's different things. I don't know. I've tried many new things, so. I love all kind of pasta. And the best food I've tried here is Chick-fil-A. My favorite food from home, it's probably jamón serrano. And from here, maybe ribs. My favorite food from home is probably tacos. And here, uh, hamburgers. If you are interested or want more information on the foreign exchange program, please see Ms. Martinez. That's a great opportunity for them. Make sure you welcome them. That's all we have for today, Vikes. Have a great rest of your Monday.